that mess is a door. Door number one. Door number one. This was the door that had the green thing over on the inside that I don't use. I only use it because it's so big it brings out refrigerators and big stuff. That's all I use. This is what door number one looks like now. It was all wood like the bottom, but I had to patch the bottom and I put a thing inside to, to seal it all off and everything's there but this is the second door I put on here I literally had to cut to fit the door literally the frame and that's all the old door from like 50 years ago this trailer was made in like 1973 or two around the time of the big flood this is door number two this is in my house It's been probably a couple of years since I've done it. But it's a remanufactured door that I put in. I basically bought it for like $240. It's like a 10 year old door that Treehab put on that was put on by professionals back probably in 2010-2011. Jen, since you live, live in an RV, you know, this is my summer travel companion. I literally was supposed to take the boat by contract and use the boat to go fishing by a boat company that is related to me. This was the vehicle I bought to do it. Basically it's paid for. It's a 2018 or 19 or I bought it in 2019 but it was a leftover. I had it probably three months and some moron ran into the thing twisted it all up, did a whole bunch of stuff to it, but it's been repaired. Now the door. This door here is the original door. Uh, right? Wait until I tell you I actually add it to a frame machine once. <sighs> about sick. The inside of the door. This thing shifts. Literally it does. This thing actually shifts. You can see this. I've actually had to put screws and I've had to tighten this and it, it's a real pain in the ass. It is. It really is. Heck it's even loose right now. I've even had to fix this thing a few times. This thing even came loose. Don't feel bad. It, it locks and all that. I, I tighten it up with a screw gun. Hey Jen, this is the boat I had to contract on. I was supposed to go to a place in Arkansas and I'm supposed to see the name of the guy was Forrest Wood. I'm supposed to fix his old, like 1940s two, diesel engine. The problem is, everybody thought it was a joke. Ha ha ha, you're all nuts and all this. Only problem is, the, where I found the information, was from the uncle that was basically listed in my 1963 adoption file to see my real father. And the guy that I'm supposed to see that had the diesel engine 
was in the adoption file too as the fourth unknown unnamed person. His name was Forrest Wood, the founder of Ranger Boat. That's who I'm supposed to see. This is the boat that I have. It's sat for probably 15, 20 years since I've had a stroke. I put a different motor on it, had it all rewired. Everybody to help me ran off. They basically ran off like a bunch of kids. Really. It's the truth.